Hello, this is Christy Strickler with GetItScrap.com. I'm here to talk with you about using scrapbooking ideas inspired by Crossed and X logo designs. Logo designs can be a wonderful resource for scrapbooking ideas and inspiration. In this video, we're going to focus on one design in particular, and that would be, of course, the Crossed or X logo design. Before we get into our scrapbooking inspiration, Let's stop for a moment and take a look at the origins of the X or crossed logo. This logo design trend has been growing since the 1990s and it features an X with letters or symbols in each of the quadrants. The design is often associated with the hipster trend. Emblemetric cites the origins of the design with the 1980s punk scene in which underage kids hands were marked with an X. Over time, variations of the trend have emerged, which include elements from oars to umbrellas. As you look at the examples from the creative team, I want you to pay attention to which elements they chose to use when they created the X on their layout. I also want you to pay attention to the placement of that X within the canvas. Is it in the center or is it off to the side? Also, pay attention to whether or not their design takes up the full page or just a small part of it. Our first example is from Heather Awesome. She says, this page is about the opportunity I had to take a flight in a small aircraft over the city where I live. I used two pieces of digital stitching and turned them until they made a large cross in the middle of the page. Taking inspiration from the designs on the Get It Scrapped motif crossed Pinterest board, I went about filling each of the quadrants. I filled catty corner quadrants with frames to balance the layout, but tilted everything so that they lined up with the lines of the cross. This gave the whole layout a tilted look. The tilted look of my layout supports the story about flying, especially in a small aircraft that is not as steady as flying in a commercial jet. When I saw this layout, I immediately knew it was about flying. There's, of course, the hint with the small wood airplane motif. But what really brings it together for me is how she used the logo design with that circular grid pattern paper. The design is placed dead center in the canvas. And with that circular design, it kind of reminds me of the radar in an air traffic control tower. Everything tilted gives it that movement that she was talking about. She's using blue in the journaling and the title, and she used green in the stitching, and that gives you a definite sense of earth and sky. Everything pulls together, the design, the color, and the product choices with those photos to make the perfect layout about a flight. The Cross or X logo design can provide you with an alternative to a traditional grid layout. We're going to see that in our next two scrapbook pages. Kiki says, this layout is a short year in review from my point of view, focusing on this year's highlights. I had a movie title, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly, stuck in my mind for a while, and I knew I wanted to make a layout playing with that title. I needed four compartments, three for my journaling, Good, Bad, and Ugly, and one for a photo. The cross motif was the perfect fit. It had the four compartments I needed and is an interesting twist, a move away from the usual blocked or square design. Andrea says, this page is about a wonderful day I spent with my daughter at a garden. I used the crossed element to divide the page into four quadrants so that I could display some of my favorite photos from that day. The wrought iron motif connects to the idea of the old-fashioned garden gates. These next two scrapbook pages will demonstrate that not all four of the quadrants need to be a uniform size. Susan Brower says, this is a layout featuring photos of my two children over a span of eight years. Although they are each growing up and developing their own paths, they remain close. I originally planned a page about their friendship because that is one meaning of crossed arrows. Then the Go Your Own Way sticker caught my eye and I decided to use the arrows for their directional meaning. It applied better to the span of time covered by the photos. In a way, both meanings are represented here. There are two sets of arrows pointing in different directions. The crossing of the elements represents that my children both start at a common nexus, our home and family. But then as time goes by, they will ultimately go forward in their own directions. I want them to remember that common starting point. 
taking a closer look at this layout, I want you to notice how the photos have been placed in the largest quadrant. The other quadrants are a bit smaller, but they have room to house the title and the embellishments. The center of the X logo design has been moved sort of down and towards the left, and the embellishments form a cluster that helps to anchor it to the page. Sue Outhouse says, this page is about several knitting projects I completed in 2013. I cut knitting needle shapes out of craft cardstock with my silhouette and used them as the crossed element on my layout. Three of the quadrants house a knitting project and journaling, while the bottom quadrant contains my title. Border stitching frames the page supporting the story, along with the knitting needles and button embellishments. Now here in this one, her quadrants aren't too uneven. However, you might notice that the ones with the photo of the socks and the man in the green sweater are just slightly larger than the top with the hat and the bottom quadrant with the title. In this next layout, we're going to see that the logo design can inspire the way the title is designed rather than the whole scrapbook page. Katie Scott says, I wish I could rewind to the simple day of kayaking in 2007 when my dogs were still with us and my kids were small and still snuggly. In Katie's design, she's made the oars out of wood grain paper that she hand cut. Of the oar icon, she says, in addition to the idea of kayaking with paddles, I think the oars convey the idea of a simpler time in her life. And this layout really conveys her conviction that this was a simple time. It really supports the story. Instead of placing each of the photos into the logo design, into one of the quadrants, she's made them into a grid on the pattern paper canvas below. The logo design itself comes in with the title. There's nothing in those top or bottom quadrants. Those are a little bit smaller. What she has in each of the quadrants on the left and the right is a portion of the title. And the way that she has placed that kind of large and over that grid of photos creates separation between each of the photos while at the same time it adds an additional layer to the scrapbook layout. It makes it to where she can have a simple page that has a big impact. She, just, she doesn't need a lot of embellishments. The title is the impact of the page, and you're really going to focus on the photos. We've seen a lot of examples in which the logo design takes up almost the entire canvas of the scrapbook layout. On this next page, we're going to see that it doesn't need to be large to have impact. Carrie Eric says, this page tells the story of my son's orange shirts. He wears them so much, they are in just about every photo of him for the past six months. I use two knotted leather cords to create my crossed element, because leather cord is dimensional in real life. I use the dodge and burn brush to create a little hump in the center of the top cord, where it goes over the bottom cord. Since I'm creating a page about my son wearing his orange shirts all the time, the cross element helps the viewer understand that the photos are related but not necessarily taken at the same time or for the same reason. I cropped the photos and paper in each quadrant into a triangle to reinforce their relationship and keep the crossed element uniform. The shirt is a really overwhelming neon type orange, so I used a neutral piece of patterned paper to give your eye a place to rest in the top quadrant. So here she does have that design in the center of the page, but it's more blocky and less round than we've been seeing. And it's also not as large. This gives Carrie a chance to create smaller embellishment clusters and play a little bit in the white space around that design. On this last layout, I want you to pay attention to how you can weave your embellishments, photo, and title in and out of layers within that crossed X logo design. Ashley Horton says, we recently attended the local county fair and our first stop on the rides was the carousel. 
I wanted a center point for my crossed motif, so I stamped a circle grid in the background. I used a ruler to draw my lines and then stitched with embroidery floss over them. The quadrants from the crossed motif provided me with an area for my photo and title to be placed across from one another. And then I used embellishments in the top and bottom quadrants to complete my design. In a lot of the pages we saw, the quadrants were very distinctive with that X dividing each space and then the embellishments or the title or the photos were placed distinctively into each quadrant. What Ashley has done here is to create a series of layers. So while many of the items are inside a quadrant, they're also layered beneath in the middle and on top of that design. So you can see the bottom is that stamped image, that's your base, and then you've got the cross design with the arrows. It's kind of layered over the top. And then you, she's layered the photo and the title on top of that stamp design as well. Above that are embellishments and they, they sometimes cross or break the line of those arrows. You can see it especially on top of the Giddy Up title where the star and the flare badge are. And there's a couple of those little orange flower shapes and they kind of float over the top of that. And it gives the layout more dimension and layers. We've seen quite a few examples of how the crossed or X logo design can influence a scrapbook layout. You can think of this in the same terms that you might think of a sketch. It's going to help guide you on your photo and embellishment placement. At the same time, you have a lot of creative license in how large you make that design and where you place it on your scrapbook canvas. You can also interweave it within the layers of your scrapbook page. If you would like to see the original article that accompanied these scrapbook layouts by the Get It Scrap team, you can visit the link that I'll place in the video notes below. For more scrapbooking inspiration, visit getitscrapped.com slash blog.